Mr. Speaker, I, I, I note um, in this motion the Minister for Finance made it a point to mention that this was a guarantee uh, by, the, by the government and, and he made sure that he made it very clear that the government would not be responsible for paying the debt unless, of course, there's a default. Uh, my concern here, Mr. Speaker, is that um, the fact that the National Lotteries Authority um, and by their mandate is supposed to assist in many disciplines across the country that their contributions to various activities on a yearly basis, how will that be affected? Will we see various reductions as it relates to some of the sponsorship that they provide? So it's just a concern and I'm hoping that, you know, um, you know we, we will not see, you know, any sort of lesser interest in various areas that have been sponsored by the National Lotteries already. I know there were some after-school programs that were being sponsored by the National Lotteries that had been stopped very, very early, maybe about two years ago. Um, and I was very happy to hear the, the, the Minister of Finance also speak to the, and I must congratulate the organizers and also the First National Bank for the sponsorship on Sunday. Very, very wonderful turnout. Um, very exciting to see the performance of our young people. And. Um, I, I, to use one of the, the, the Minister of Finance, the member for Castries, his favorite terms, um, you know, I recall the number of times when the work was being done on the Sufra Stadium, the number of times they, they, they deny great, is that the word you, 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 you love to use, you know, they deny great the, 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 the work being done. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy at least that there was a place for our young people to have been able to come and um, you know, perform very well. Um, there were other statements that were made that I, you know, I would not choose to comment on, on the whole issue of the Sufre Stadium. Um, the, 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 mem the member spoke of specifically, well, he mentioned at least four, four grounds. He spoke of the, the Darren Sami in preparation for Cricket World Cup. He spoke for the Grosley Plain Field, Mindu Philip Park, and Marsha Grounds. Um, I'm suspecting, I'm, I'm believing that you, would have, you most likely would have missed out some other areas because I find it very hard that $80 million would go into just these four, the four areas. Um, and I can think of a few to assist in putting on that program as well because the last time I was here I spoke to the issue of the Schuzel lighting and um, the, the lights um, costing just about $250,000 as a result of a number of times the organizers tried to get the lights repaired, um, we had quite a bit of difficulty um, where they were citing financial difficulties. And that, that of course, has stopped um, a wonderful cricket program that the organizers have done there, Shozel Smash, which has continued to, to, to pull very large crowds and the support for the vendors and everything like that, um, Mr. Um, Mr. Speaker. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, there will be some emphasis placed to repair the lights. Um, the member for Denry North, who continuously won't throw side remarks whenever I'm speaking, I'm sure he would have, he would, uh, Mr. Speaker, through you, he, he would have played on the PI playing field as a, as a former national cricketer. And the PI playing field, Mr. Speaker, one of the, be the best um, places where, where, apart from the Darren Sammy grounds, where, where young cricketers go and play. I'm hoping that some, some attention will be made, will be given to that particular, um, that particular cricket ground in Shozel. Um, the, 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 the Honorable Prime Minister also spoke to the fact that all the work that was done on the Sufre Stadium, um, obviously it left a sort of uh, a void for the cricketers. And Mr. Speaker, we know very well that a lot of work had been done in acquiring another piece of land in Soufre. Some work had been started, and I'm hoping maybe the member for Soufre, Francis Jacques, could tell us of the continuation of that program to, to give a home to the cricketers from the Soufre community. But Mr. Speaker, of, of greater concern in all of that kind of money that's been spent in our sporting facilities, and I, I think I heard the member for Castries South speak to it some time ago, um, 
that we need to find a place to have our cultural activities and our fets and everything like that, Mr. Speaker. And I'm hoping that that kind of money that we'll be spending on the facilities will not continue to see, you know, the destruction of the facilities with some of the big um, parties and the fets that we continue to engage in on, on, on these, um, on these um, playing surfaces. Um, I remember when we were um, a, um, um, forming the government, or, 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 or we were the last administration, we had actually identified a place um, somewhere in the area of, I think it was Caribbean cinemas, where we were looking to bring in the whole cultural center and uh, sufficient parking and everything. But there was a lot of cry from the public that we were moving away from town and, 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 and you know, and um, people opposed. But now you see, when you listen and you reflect, you realize that a lot of people are making noise for political reasons. I'm, 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 and so I'm hoping that, you know, the thrust that the Minister of Tourism wants to give to identifying a new home, you know, we will see that happening very soon so that, um, you know, the, the damage of our playing surfaces would be a thing of the past. So, Mr. Speaker, I, you know, I, 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 I do agree that we do need to do some maintenance and some work on our various fields. I'm hoping that the four fields mentioned are not the, the, the limitation of where that money will be spent, but there'll be a wider program across St. Lucia um, to take care of the various playing fields. That being said, Mr. Speaker, I thank you.